Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to go over the top 10 things you can do when you're camping. I thought this would be a fun video to make because there are lots of things you can do when you're camping, um, whether it's like like certain activities that don't involve technology because half the time when you're on vacation camping there's no like service or wi-fi around but there are plenty of things you can do when you're camping that don't involve wi-fi and i thought this would be a fun video to do just in case you're planning on going camping or you're planning on taking your kids camping and they want things to keep themselves busy busy or if you're going camping and if you've never been and you want stuff to keep yourself busy I thought this I've got you covered I thought this would be a very helpful video so I'm gonna get started so number one on my list would be knit so I personally love to knit when I go camping because I find it just keeps me super busy I think it's so much fun and very relaxing and I just love to knit when I'm camping and I know some people may not want to bring their knitting camping because they worry about it getting dirty and everything but I personally love to knit when I'm camping because I find it just keeps me very busy and it just um, keeps me motivated to just finish a project and I really like that and I love working on knitting project when I'm camping because I just really think they're so much fun and I think they just they just keep me busy the entire time. All right, and I remember like um, I did this twice. I did not bring my knitting camping and I was so incredibly bored and my mom's like, why didn't you bring your knitting? I'm like, because my stepdad at the time told me not to bring my knitting. Well, he only did it like one time just because he wanted me to visit with the family or just like do other things besides knit because half the time, a lot of times we were on vacation, he would complain about me knitting. Knitting and which I can understand because I do do it all the time But I just personally love to bring my knitting when I go camping. It just keeps me busy and another time I forgot to bring it is because um, I don't know I just wanted something else to do and bad news I was in a bad mood almost the whole camping trip because I didn't feel well, but it just happens like sometimes you don't bring something and you don't something at the last minute and you don't think about it. Number two, I'm going to let's talk about crocheting. So crocheting is a great way to keep yourself busy because you get to work on a project. I know some people may not want to bring their crocheting because they worry about it getting dirty, but honestly, it'll keep you busy for the entire time. So you're not bored when you're sitting up at the camping place or you're sitting at the beach board. Number three on my list had to be draw. So I used to love to draw a lot whenever I was going camping. I found it so much fun because drawing just kept me so busy. Busy and I would like write little cartoons about my camping trips or I would draw little story times like about whatever and it was just a great way for me to stay busy or I would just draw random pictures of all my favorite characters. Number four on my list would have to be go swimming. Going swimming is a lot of fun. I remember one time I wanted to go swimming, but one time I forgot to bring a swimsuit, so I had to borrow my mom. So I had to borrow one of my mom's swimsuits at the time. Or was it my mom's or like, like um, I just didn't borrow anybody's swimsuits. I don't remember, but um, I forgot to bring a swimsuit and I was super annoyed. But luckily I had some water safe shoes to dip my feet in the water. Number five on my list would be read a book. So reading a book is really fun to do when camping because reading will keep you busy. You can look at like your children's books or you can look at like a book you're currently reading. Reading is just a really great way to stay busy because then you can keep up on like anything you haven't finished reading. Reading and reading is just a really fun, relaxing thing you can do. Number six on my list would have to be visit with friends and family. So visiting with friends and family is a great way to stay busy while camping because you're around so many people who care about you and it's so much fun to have conversations with your friends and family. Like when I was a kid, um, I would go down to the lake with my aunt and uncle and we would have a lot of really fun conversations like about old cartoons from when my aunt was a kid or we would have conversations about old bands from like the 60s. I really thought that was really fun. I remember singing on the beach with my aunt and uncle and it was a lot of, a really fun thing to do. And I loved visiting with my family friends as well. 
Number eight of my list should be go for walks with friends and family. So whenever I go camping with my family and friends, um, we go for a lot of walks and we find that keeps us super energized and it just is a great way to check out the scenery. Even though the place I've been to a hundred times has the same scenery, it's just a really great way to get exercise, a really get, great way to just walk around so you're not sitting down all day. And just walking is just great in general. <laughs> General, don't walk when it's super hot though, because you don't want to overheat yourself. But just try to find a time to walk when it's not so hot. And it's really fun to walk around, look at your scenery, especially if you've never been to the camping place. It's just a great way so you can get to know the scenery. Number nine on my list would be do a word search. So doing a word search is a great way to stay busy when camping because, because you'll be so busy with your word search, it'll search. Um, it's just a fun way. I love word searches. I definitely could do them for hours. I find that they're super fun. They're relaxing and they're just a really great brain teaser just to keep you busy your entire camping trip. Number 10 on my list had we do a crossword puzzle. So doing a crossword puzzle is a great thing to do when you're camping just because um, those are great brain teasers and help you figuring out the words and everything, especially if it takes you a while like they do for me. They're just super great, great, especially if you're a huge fan of crossword puzzles. They'll keep you busy for days because you'll try to be figuring out all the words to put in the little boxes for your crossword puzzles. So um, if you are looking for something fun to bring, definitely recommend word searches and crossword puzzles. Okay, so those are my top 10 things to do when you're camping. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.